This is Ivory up here now. Have a seat. We're going to start the business briefing. We're going to have plenty of time to talk with friends. Help our members grow, help our members know what they can do 
communication, leadership, and teamwork. We started out this year at 243 clubs. You see, that's our base number over there. We're a little short of that. But we have nearly 30 clubs that are just about there for the payments. So let's do a little bit of math. 210 plus 30 is? 240. All right, so this is the kind of math I can do. It leaves us about three clubs short of our base. That's not quite where we're going to be. But the next slide will show where we're going to be in the next 60 days. Tiffany? So we're going to talk about how many clubs we've chartered up until this point. So year to date, we've chartered 16 brand new clubs. And Bill and I were equally busy because we have eight in District 30 and eight in the new forming 103. <laughs> With that, we have clubs that we are looking at chartering in the next 30 days to 60 days so that we can count them for the year. We have a total of, that's a really small amount, of a lot more clubs that we have in the progress. We have roughly 45 clubs in the hopper right now, and this is the one that we are pretty confident are going to charter in the next 30 days, but there's still that other 30 plus that we're working on. So if we have the 240 from what we talked about on the last slide, and even just getting these 11, that puts us 8 over. And eight over makes us a distinguished. That's right, and that's where we want to go. But with those other clubs, we can keep going. There's three things that we try to encourage in terms of meeting our excellence: one member at a time, one club at a time, and that's making sure we can have excellence, helping to build new clubs and support all clubs in excellence. We do that through building those new clubs, maintaining clubs that we just saw. We also do that for getting our payments in. This time of the year, we're usually somewhere in the neighborhood of 85, 9,000. Look where we're at right now. 93, 85, great job of paying your payments. Give yourself a round of applause. And one of the ways we've done that is we encourage you. We'd like to have incentives and encouragements. Tiffany will show you some of those incentives and some of those award winners. So we had one really big incentive recently. So the numbers are a little shy, and we know we're going to get them for the year. But what really helped us get to the number we're at now was the incentive we ran that ended on March 28th. So that was Make It Great With Eight by March 28th. So if you had a minimum of your eight members renewed by March 28th, you went into the first, we said 25 clubs would get a slide of answer. Well, you were all so great, and some of you did it before we gave it, that I wanted to honor those clubs. So we gave out 36. So these were the first 36 clubs that made it through the door to get theirs renewed. We have a total of 139 clubs that renewed before April 1st. So give yourselves a round of applause. And the one really big shout out of those 36 clothes, we chose one at random. And Parkridge Toastmasters, you're getting a projector. Yeah. And just to make sure that everybody knows, so I did send you the email and let you know that you will get yours. We are giving them out at the June TLI. So come on out, get trained, and get your slide advances. Thank you. Hey, I've been in a lot of different meetings this week, and I, it's, it's been a pleasure to go out with these guys. But the one that I was mostly excited about, the Magnus, was the police academy. I walked in there, and we're in the meeting. I was running late. I walked in there and sat down, looked around. That guy's got a gun. <laughs> She's got a gun. Everybody in this room got a gun. 
maybe a little nervous. <laughs> so when I got up there for my table talk, I watched what I was saying. <laughs> I love the uniqueness of District 30. We've got all types of clubs, all types of individuals, and we all come together and we have a good time like tonight. Any questions for our club growth directors? No questions? Great. That's what I want to hear. Thanks. Thank you, Bill. Now, the people that put all this stuff together, phone calls after phone calls, emails after emails, Iqbal Acha and Cassandra Lee. of our club officers training. That is a number that we are proud of. Please give yourselves a round of applause for that. Now I'm going to roll out a challenge for you. Because one of our shoot for the stars goal was to have 90% of our club officers trained. What's the number we have trained right now? For June 2017, when we do that first round of training, we want to get as many club officers trained as possible. We would like going into the brand new club year to start having 70%, 80%, 90% of our club officers trained. Are you committed right now to assist your new leaders with getting club officers trained for the new year? If so, say, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Thank you. So on the screen now is the overview of how our clubs are doing in terms of the distinguished club status or distinguished club program and how the district is today. That is about a week old, so it's not too, too far off. But I wanted to point out that in order for us as a district to be considered a distinguished district, our goal is at the very bottom at 98 clubs. That is how many clubs we expect to achieve distinguished or better status. As of last Friday, we have a total of 42, and as of, I believe, this morning, we have 46. You can see the breakdown on the slide in terms of how many clubs have achieved distinguished, select distinguished, and presidents distinguished. From the analysis that Cassandra and I have done, we can tell you that there's approximately 50 or 60 clubs that have the points but they don't have the members. So 
interesting, right? So for those of you that are listening to this conversation and be saying, so what does this mean? For a club to be distinguished, just distinguished, they have to achieve five out of ten points, and they must have either 20 or more members, or they must add five members to whatever their base was starting July 1st. So we want to place that emphasis because it is still 60 days away from the close of the Toastmasters calendar year. And for those clubs that know that you have the points, then the emphasis should be to go find members. On the flip side of that coin, there are clubs that have the members, but they don't have so that means that there are 60 days for all of my beloved VPEs out of the audience that hear me once a month to make a strong focus. Find those members that have committed to achieving an award. Find those club officers that have served in the past six months and sign them up to either give an annual speech or an educational session speech, or even to partner with their area directors to find another club within the area that has a vacant speaking spot in case your club does not. Because this will help not just your members, which is critical. Your members must feel that they are getting the most out of the program by working the program, and they receive the credit through the awards, but it also helps your clubs. That number, while it is on screen, is a, something that you look at and go, well, that's, that's nice. You know, it's for the district. But the fact of the matter is, it's for you. We talk about Toastmasters as a, an organization that leads excellence. But it starts at the club level. And it starts at the member level. And if you have not contributed your own steps towards excellence in your own Toastmasters journey, this is where the club steps in and helps you do that. I'm confident that we will achieve that 98. I know it. And that is where Cassandra and I stop and we ask you, are you as committed to this as we are? Yes, are we, we are. Yes? Yeah. I for the front. We try not to get for the beautiful people in the front. Are you as committed as we are to yes. achieving this? Yes. Yes. It Paul mentioned for you awards, and as he mentioned just a moment ago, how we want to be able to get those clubs that can allow us to have distinguished status. We also want you to remember your why, your goal for joining Toastmasters. How many of you have been in Toastmasters by a show of hands for a year or less? Out of those members, thank you. Go ahead and applaud them. Thank you for joining and for being around for at least a year. Now here's a question to you. For those of you that have been around for a year or less, how many of you have completed at least three speeches in your stand for that? If you've done that, stand for that. If you completed ten speeches, there you go. Here's one more question for those members that have been around for a year or less. How many of you have completed three or more CL projects? Stand for that as well. Thank you for standing and for being recognized. Now, for members that have been around for more than a year, how many of you have actually earned an award this year or on the way to earning an award? Stand for us. Stand for us. So we'll see. You know, most of you are achievers. We just recognize you along the way. Depending upon what side of the room you're on, I want you to look at one of the two screens. I want you to look at one of the two screens because you're represented in those numbers. 
The awards that you earn for CCCL, ACB, ALB, ACS, ALS, ACG, LDR, EXC, and ETM, you are in those numbers, and we applaud you for earning the educational awards because it helps our clubs to provide you with a quality experience, and most importantly, it helps you to earn and achieve the goals for which you join Toastmasters. So again, thank you for earning those awards. Continue to earn, and also I want you to do something. Rub elbows for the person standing next to you. Because that's what I want you to do when you get back to your club. Rub elbows with other members to inspire them to earn an award so they too can be in the numbers. Thank you for that. Any questions? One up front. Okay. I want to no, 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 no. microphone, please. My name is Brian Vicente, who is now a Toastmaster in Nepalese. Uh, well, uh, you mentioned all the new uh, people who are to the club for less than a year. We also need to give a shout out to those who are here less than a year who earn uh, awards. And we do have one of our members who has a triple crown. Georgia Bendow. I know her. She's a gold Okay. Are there any more one. questions? I have a question, but my name is Tim Bolger. I'm from Fox Valley Postmasters, and I do a lot of filming for the district. Not questions, but just a little appreciation to Cassandra and Iqbal that they answered my questions, promptly answered my emails, and made the process of getting this video stuff that I do very, very smooth. They deserve a real round of applause for helping me out in this endeavor. It will be available to both the 
the new District 103 and District 30. But to that point, Robert, any club officer can attend any district training anywhere in the world, and they will receive credit as well. And to answer to a question, the two districts, yes, we're splitting, but it doesn't take effect until July 1st. So we can still party a little bit longer. <laughs> and with that, I'm closing out the business briefing. Thank you, and it's time to a little bit of celebration.